Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to get the next auto increment ID in MySQL. Auto increment is the property or a feature of a, a column in MySQL table that automatically increases. So let's say we have customer table one and there is a column called the ID customer. It is a data type of integer and we have defined as a not null. Then we use the auto increment feature. Okay, so every time we will create a new row in this table, it will get the next next ID or next value so first time when we will put the uh, row in this table the value will be 1 for ID customer and then uh, for the next rows it will be auto incrementing so next for let's say for second row it will be 2 then 3 4 5 and keep going up okay so we can go ahead and create this table and then we are gonna insert a couple of rows here to show you some data I'm uh, inserting the very first row and then we'll select the data. If you notice here, I'm not using ID customer column here. So I'm not putting uh, the value by myself because it's auto increment. So it will increase or it will be inserted automatically. Okay, so let's select the data. And you can see that the ID customer value is a one. As it is auto increment, next time it should be two. Okay, let's insert the second record. All right, and let's select the data. Now the value should be two. And now if we are interested as a developer, what will be the next value that will be inserted into the ID customer column? We can gather that information from information schema dot tables. So this is a system table that can give us information. We have to provide the, the name of the database in which we, we, we in which our table is and the, the name of the table itself. We will provide this information, then it will give us the auto increment next to value for this uh, uh, table um, and that's on id customer column okay let's run that uh, and we can see that it is returning us a uh, three okay now there could be scenarios where you will uh, uh, insert the auto increment id and that's possible so you can ma manually insert some value let's say if i will go ahead and say i'm going to jump all the way from one or two or three whatever the three records i have it and i want to start with 500 so i want to insert a record that will have 500 value for our id customer and then next what will happen uh, the next value will be when uh, we will uh, insert uh, it should be 501 so it will kind of take the max and then add to it okay so let's see right now we have one two we skipped uh, we put 500 manually and now if I will go and uh, let's remove this one again and uh, I can go and run this statement again and now is this uh, time the value it should put uh, that should be 501 okay insert completed okay 501 okay working so when you insert a large value or a bigger value than what you have in this column and the next value is going to be starting with the, that value now if you want to check uh, from this table again and say okay what will be the next value so you still see three even uh, we have inserted 500 and we inserted one more record and uh, it was shown uh, us uh, uh, 501 uh, then uh, this column should uh, show us a uh, 502 value because that's what the, the value is going to be if we will insert another record but that's not doing it why because uh, the value or information uh, this query is getting it is getting from a cache to data so or a cache statistics uh, so what you need to do uh, you will run this uh, statement uh, set uh, at the rate session information schema dot stats expiry zero once you expire that what will happen uh, then for this session uh, it's going to get the data data from the engine directly so that will give us the latest information so actually uh, let's go ahead and sometimes sessions uh, last for a long time and uh, depending on your settings maybe 24 hour whatever the information you have put for expiry this sessions so uh, you have to kind of uh, run this one to refresh it so let's go ahead and refresh it and now it will get the data from engine directly for us and now you see that it is uh, given us the value that's 502 that's exactly we are expected in case we run the next statement so now if we run this one you see that 501 is the last uh, and uh, if I insert our row that should be 502 okay great and now uh, if we run uh, to see the value so 502 is here next uh, generated value should be 503 if we run this 
now you see that it's uh, working just fine because uh, we have set this uh, variable to expire to zero so it is getting the latest data from the database engine now instead of what's in the cache thanks very much for watching this video i hope this video will help uh, go ahead subscribe if you like my effort